Hey guys, it's Jay and welcome to Low Carb 360. Okay, so I'm introducing a new segment to the Low Carb 360 show and that's where I do how-to videos. So today is one of those videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade almond milk. Regular milk is higher in carb. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make homemade almond milk and it's so delicious. Let's get started. Okay everyone, so um, before we begin making the almond milk, I wanted to show you the um, things you'll need to make the almond milk. Um, you'll need of course a high powered blender and I'm using my Vitamix. I'm also going to be using raw almonds. Now um, I purchased my almonds at the local Indian store. I found that they had the best price for raw almonds. You can also purchase them online. I find it to be a little pricey online so the best place that I found raw almonds was at the local Indian store now also you'll need water of course and you'll need something to strain the milk once you've blended the almonds so I use a nut bag now I wanted to show you this cheesecloth that I used to use in the past and you can buy it at a local craft store this is what it looks like and um, this is food grade cheesecloth and you can purchase it at any local craft store but um, I bought a nut bag so that I can reuse this bag okay so let's get started okay so here are the almonds that we soaked overnight and what I did was I rinsed it twice in water and now we're going to start making the almond milk okay so let me show you what the milk looks like it's nice and creamy and that's what it looks like now we're going to separate the solids from the milk so I have my nut bag here and we're going to strain the milk okay so now I'm going to pour the milk into the nut bag and this is a pretty big bag so I'm just going to pour the whole thing okay and now I'm going to strain and you'll see the milk um, separates from the solid. Now you don't want to throw away the solids that's in the bag because you can use it to make almond meal and I'll show you how I do that on my blog so just come to lowcarb360.com and you'll see what I do with the solids from the milk. So nothing is wasted in this recipe. Okay so this is what the solid part of the milk mixture looks like. So we're not going to throw this out because we can use this in another recipe. Okay, so the last part of making the almond milk is to flavor the almond milk. Now you can certainly just drink it like this and it's totally fine, but I like to add a little bit of flavor to my almond milk. And what I'm going to add is a low carb sweetener, this is sugar free sweetener, cardamom powder, cinnamon, and cinnamon is a great spice because it helps to regulate your blood sugar. And then I'm going to add a little bit of nutmeg. Okay, so now I'm going to just give this a quick blend just to incorporate all the spices with the spices with the milk. This is what our fresh almond milk looks like and I'm going to pour it into this glass container. And this is an airtight container so it helps to lock out any other um, scents from your refrigerator once you put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so that's it and this is the lock seal and basically you just turn the lock and there you have it fresh almond milk ready to be used in any of your low carb recipes okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this how-to video on making homemade almond milk and I'll see you guys next time with another low carb recipe thanks for watching